thank you very much. <clears throat> it's interesting to be here at the moment when your mayor, Mr. Hashimoto, um, has become so famous in Japan and is too busy to meet with us. Um, obviously, he has political aspirations. And, but it's interesting that he seems not to care about his own people in Osaka. He's more interested in national politics. Well, he's not really suitable to be a national politician. Two months after the Fukushima accident, he agreed to receive contaminated radioactive waste from around that area and incinerate it. 36,000 tons of material. Um, I don't know if it's been transported here yet or not. Has it? Not yet. Although there was they were planning to have a test incineration today. Still be here. Is it? Has it arrived or not? We don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean, as if Fukushima wasn't bad enough for Fukushima Prefecture and other areas, even Tokyo is contaminated. What they're doing is sharing, sharing their radioactive waste with other cities to contaminate other cities. And to my mind, as a pediatrician and a physician, that is criminal. In effect, that sharing the accident, the radioactive accident, with the rest of Japan, including this very large city. So materials that will be in contained in 36,000 tons of wood pieces, etc., from Fukushima are number one, cesium-137. Cesium-137 lasts for 300 years, 300 years. So as it lands all over Osaka, it will be there for the next 300 years to be inhaled by people, to get into food, and to be swallowed. The government talks about acceptable levels of radiation, but there are no acceptable levels of radiation. All radiation is dangerous. All can lead to the induction of cancer. In the season 134, that only lasts for about oh, 20 years, but that's also extremely radioactive. The cesium causes brain tumors, muscle, very malignant muscle tumors called sarcomas. It can locate in the testicles and ovaries, where it can cause ovarian cancer, testicular cancer, or genetic abnormalities in future generations. It can also get into the fetus, causing severe congenital anomalies, babies born grossly deformed. There will be other elements as well in this waste, including uh, cobalt-60, which is extremely radioactive, and uranium-235, uh, and 238, which causes um, kidney cancer, congenital malformations, bone cancer, and leukemia. So it's totally appropriate that the women here are rising up, women who have young children, because children are 20 times more sensitive to the effects of radiation than adults. Little girls are twice as sensitive as little boys and fetuses are thousands of times more sensitive to radiation than adults. One x-ray to the pregnant abdomen doubles the incidence of leukemia in the baby. It's always women that lead revolutions. Always women. And Japan needs a revolution led by the women and the mothers and the potential mothers. It's interesting that Mr. Hashimoto has the same name as a thyroid disease called Hashimoto's syndrome. Um, <laughs> the same sort of disease that could be induced by radiation. That's very interesting to me. And I think that should be emphasized in the media. <laughs> it's possible that Mr. Hashimoto does not understand the medical effects of radiation and that cesium concentrates in the food hundreds or thousands of times. So 
it may be one level on the ground, but when it gets into the lettuce and the carrots and the vegetables and the milk and the meat, it's concentrated. Each time it's taken up by another, like the grass, the cattle, the milk, the meat, and then human beings. When you eat food with radiation in it, like cesium, you can't taste it. You can't smell it. You can't see it. It's invisible. It's an invisible killer. And the cesium will go and lodge in the brain or the muscle and stay there for a long time, irradiating a small volume of cells. Those cells get a really high dose of radiation. These materials that get inside your body, they're called internal emitters, and the Japanese government doesn't even think about them. Neither does the World Health Organization. All they talk about is external radiation, like cesium lands on the ground. It's emitting gamma radiation like x-rays, but they never talk about when it gets inside your body. The Japanese government and TEPCO are lying to the Japanese people. When you have a medical catastrophe, like Fukushima, you don't lie to people. You don't lie to people. It's like lying about a smallpox epidemic or a rabies epidemic. So when you incinerate radioactive waste, it doesn't change the radioactive elements. They just get, you can't get rid of them. They just go straight up the chimney, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> to land all over the people <laughs> and, and on the ground and get into the food. They said they will have filters in the chimney to filter out the radiation. It won't filter it all out at all. Then what do you do with the radioactive filter, filters? Put them in a, a waste dump. Where is it? Somewhere. The dump is called Yumeshima. Yumeshima yeah. so, so when it rains, comes the rain and spreads the material into the water and back up into the food for the next 300 years. It's interesting that the, the, the Osaka city councillors who are concerned are female councillors. We're more intelligent than men, let's be frank. Intuition is very acute when it comes to protecting our children. So I would like to say how much I respect the women here who have organized to fight incineration, and under no circumstances must it happen. Uh, Mr. Hashimoto must be kept to account. I will help you as much as I possibly can. This issue must become part of the federal election campaign, not federal, the national election campaign. The catastrophe at Fukushima, Building 4, which may collapse, which will be the end of much of Japan. And the transportation of radioactive waste around the country and incinerating it. It's interesting that the, the Russian government was much more responsible to its citizens than the Japanese government has been. That's interesting. After Chernobyl. It's important to note that I think you're about 60 miles or so from about 15 nuclear power plants, including OI, and OI is transected by an earthquake fault. So you need to worry about incineration and you must keep those reactors closed and close down the OI reactors and show the world what a sensible nation Japan really is. And this is all I really have to say. I'll be interested to take questions from you later, if you have questions.